calling all sellers in Ghana. I know a lot of sellers looking for a real buyer. Today, the buyer has a cash in the bank of Ghana. Now, if you are a seller watching or listening to me on this video, I am a seller's marketing consultant on Monday. One of, this, one of my seller signed a contract to this buyer, but my seller cannot cater supply because she, he has a limited supply. Now, this video, I'm putting this on YouTube and Facebook because I am calling all sellers in Ghana that have available stock to sell. Now, this buyer is going to buy a gold to make into 99.99 .99 on final destination. You as the seller, you, you must remember your gold is a dory bar. Your gold is 22 plus and the purity is 94, 95. It depends on the asset report to the local refinery. Now, the buyer has a particular refinery he's going to use because he transferred the money into the refinery's account as a custodian. The refinery doesn't own the money. The buyer does own the money. Right. So, you as the buyer, the seller, has to provide your mining license, your business license, your export license, and passport. You don't need to be scared because your information will be protected. You are not dealing brokers to broker. Right. You are dealing direct to the buyer. It so happened this buyer saw me on YouTube. He come to me and then I validated him. He provided me a lot of letter and he also provided me the bank statement. But I would not release the bank statement unless you as the seller would be validated by Mrs. Ford. You as the seller, you need to provide and you need to be transparent. When you sell this gold to this buyer, I want to see you live video conference. I want to see you live so that when we do the discussion, you can ask questions and I will explain to you. And the bank statement, proof of statement, proof of fund would not be released before you sign a contract. The, sell, the, the buyer had a cash contract. The, my seller signed the contract to this buyer. But as I've said to you, my seller cannot cater. He has only limited stock. Right. So I'm looking more seller because this buyer have 19 million plus sitting in the bank of Ghana. So you don't need to worry that export in Dubai asking CIF. Right. Those buyer asking CIF cost insurance and freight. They don't have the money. They don't have cash. They are going to leverage your gold. They are going to, to launder your gold. As a seller's mandate, I have seller in Mali. I have seller in Guinea. We never deal with cost insurance and freight only. The buyer has to pay 30 to 40% take it or leave it after the ASI report from the local refinery. It so happened that this buyer he transferred the payment into Ghana Bank. 19 million plus. So you don't need to worry about, oh, do I have to ship it to Dubai? Oh, I have to ship it to Singapore and Hong Kong. No, the buyer is cash. You will sign a contract with the buyer. The buyer will send a letter of introductory to the refinery that the refinery will meet you but before the refinery will meet you, you sign a contract, I said to you, uh, provide your information, and then you will meet his business partner. You will meet the business partner face to face. Then the business partner will take you to the refinery. You will meet the director of the refinery and the business partner and you. And you make sure as a seller that you come on time. When you bring your gold, it is your responsibility to bring the gold to the refinery. The buyer will pay the smelting cost. Right. And then after the assay to that the particular refinery, then the payment would be transferred right and there. 
so for example you have a million you have 100 kilos or 200 kilos then the business partner will advise the bank to prepare the payment my marketing fee my consultant fee I will charge the seller I don't charge the buyer okay the seller is responsible paying because I am bringing the buyer I am not a broker I don't deal with broker I don't deal with chain of brokers that is why I introduced this massive marketing in Australia you can buy anything online you can buy insurance you can do online banking you can buy groceries after I travel to Ghana I introduced this massive marketing because there's so many problems going on in Ghana there's so many brokers then brokers doesn't help the buyer and the seller what is the cause of buyers and seller fail because there are too many brokers I am not a broker I don't consider me as a broker because I don't float around I explain what is available stock of my seller it's so happy in this buyer come to me so I have to find up a seller I know you seller you're hungry to sell your products I know you've been looking for gold uh, to sell it bring it to Wilhelmina you meet this business partner right on there so you act urgently when I ask, when I arrange the meeting with this business partner when you make an appointment one nine o'clock you need to arrive nine o'clock do not arrive four o'clock because I scolded one of my seller I cancelled the contract appointment ten o'clock he showed up six o'clock that's not the way you do business in Australia when you make an appointment nine o'clock you need to leave one hour that before nine o'clock this is American way way of doing business you people in Ghana are very slow you start to learn you start to educate yourself if you cannot afford to sell your products don't don't deal don't dig gold because gold is is high demand your product is high demand the, the buyer is here so supply and demand determine the, the price but you need to give the buyer a very good price because the buyer have a set of price because when he he uh, smelt the gold to his country there is also costing he has to pay in importation tax he has to pay um, uh, costing on every smelting when he smelt the gold when he refined the gold to his destination he also pay $130 per kilo now this buyer will also pay the smelting cost but he would like to deduct the cost of the smelting cost on the payment that is fair right because you don't have the money to pay the smelting cost so the buyer will pay the smelting cost but it would be deducted from the total sell value is that make sense now so you as the seller you have to bring the gold to the refinery after you meet the the business partner you make sure as a being a seller when you say I will bring gold to to the refinery certain time you coordinate with the business partner because I will also coordinate I'm very very straight if you want business if you want to pro, uh, improve your business do it act in accordance of the time so thank you very much I will wait for your call I will put my number on the uh, after my conversation with you okay on the bottom my email my uh, Skype my telephone number and I also put this on Facebook so those seller watching this video act fastly because this buyer would not wait for you You've been selling you've been looking for go for buyer and you cannot find the cash buyer there is a cash buyer right now in your country in Ghana now those buyer wanted to get gold in Africa Africa is abundance of supply gold diamond cocoa gas and oil and so forth come to Mali Mali is the third largest gold producer in West Africa Guinea is the producer of gold and diamond as well. Sierra Leone, producer of gold and, sh and diamond. Uh, Tanzania, they have gold, but that, not much. Right, so Africa is a huge continent. It so happened that the buyer loved to buy gold in Ghana because Ghana is a very popular. 
Ghana is a British colony. Mali is a French colony. A Guinea is a French colony. So don't worry about the colony colony. As long as you get the supply, you have the money, paper money versus solid money. So paper money and gold, solid money, solid cash, just like husband and wife. You need the priest. Wilhelmina is just like a priest. I ordain you guys to connect you. So I am here to connect you to get your supply to be sold. And the buyer also need to buy your product. Without Wilhelmina, you would never find this buyer. Because buyers are skeptical. Buyers have already bad experience that when the seller, when the seller say, I want to meet 10 o'clock, they show up 6 o'clock. That is why this buyer come to me. Because I need to educate you as the seller. Understand? So you, you don't need to be scared. Don't run away. If you are running away, meaning to say you are not a seller. Why you run away? You are accordingly you provide me again your mining license your business license your export license and passport live video conference don't worry about oh i don't want to share my my information therefore you are devious when you sell your products when you see the buyer is real you provide everything so that the buyer will believe you the buyer will provide also his information the buyer will provide this uh, proof of fund. The buyer will send a letter of instruction to that to that refinery to uh, to to welcome you to entertain you. You you cannot just talk to the refinery because the refinery will deny you. That is the instructions of the buyer. Any seller will verify this buyer will the the refinery will decline. That I'm sorry, I don't know the buyer. I'm sorry, the buyer has no money. Why? For security reason. Because in, uh, in Ghana, there's so many scrupulous sellers as well. There's so many devious sellers as well. So the buyer wanted to be secure and for security reason. Gold business must be protected and act accordingly. Thank you very much and I will wait for your call. And be standby on Skype. Thank you very much.